what's up loves it's queen jazz and i'm back this video is going to be me just showing y'all how i take down my crochet braids as you can see they are through bow through bow is a word that you use when something is too through when it's been through for a long time that means it's through bow Ooh, is that ash okay but anyway that means it's through bow okay so i'm using these scissors yes i got two nails missing yes it happened this very day after i got my feel yes i will be going to that same place when i get some time and letting them know they need to fix my nails for free so anyway basically what i do is i just find one i cut i'm gonna start in the front actually i have some bobby pins in here i have bobby pins in so let me take these out so y'all i just really want to commend myself can i get a can, can, can i get a second please can i get can I get everybody to stand up right now and give me a round of applause because I feel like I've been way more consistent than I've ever, ever been with these videos. I think it's because I realized it's actually what I want to do. Before, it was kind of like, mm, I'll just play with YouTube because I just like learning new, new and different stuff. Now, it's actually become a passion. And now, like, I actually get excited. Like, I actually now have a YouTube book that I just write my, oh my goodness. These gonna keep falling. Yeah, I even got me like a YouTube book now where I write down my ideas and stuff like that. And that's what I'm gonna use basically. Oh, I didn't get no bag. Oh, you know what? I'll just put it in this trash can. Also, I started jotting down my ideas and everything, the videos I want to do. Um, and a few other things I really need to do is learn more editing. Because right now, I feel like my editing skills are very, very basic. And you can tell that it's basic because I'm still using iMovie. And iMovie is a very basic editor. It's like beginning editor software. But the laptop that I have, it kind of, it just moves too slow. Sometimes this gets tricky now. Sometimes you gotta really like dig up in it. When you do your crochet braids and you tie it, this is why a lot of people only do it once instead of twice because once you cut it out, the hair has matted so much to the point where everything up there is just, it's just a big ass nap ball to be honest. And when you cut it, you still have more to do. Look, let me show you example. You see that right there? Look at that. There's no telling where that starts and where it ends. So I, what I try to do is I just go under and I try to find the loop. Once you find the loop, you can kind of put your finger or your nail through and then just pull it on loop it and pull it out. It's not hard, it's not difficult. It just takes like a little extra, you know, whatever, whatever. So if you wanna avoid this and if you wanna take your hair down even quicker, let's say you only got it up because you're about to wear it for like a week or whatever, then you could just tie it one time. And then that way when you take it out, literally you all you gotta do is just grab one, take it and cut it. Look at this, what's this? Where does this belong to? Oh, okay. Somebody on their greatest. Queen Allergy mixtape. Don't let your demons take it out. Introduce them to heaven. Some niggas go to college. Queen Allergy mixtape. You see it? Queen Allergy mixtape. Queen Allergy mixtape. None of your hair is in this. None of my hair is in this, so you can just, you know, just cut that shit. Now 
you can see the cap. I got a cap on there. I didn't put the cap over my whole head, of course, because I wanted my part to actually show. I was going to just put it over anyway and just cut out the part, you know, with the, um, with the parting, but that's not what I did. That mean y'all hair through bow. You should have took it out about a week or two ago, and you didn't. Y'all, if y'all friends want to do something, and it's not something that interests you, still support that friend. Whatever they doing, you support that friend. Support don't always have to mean money. Support means show up. And if somebody chooses not to support you, you can't force them to. Just allow them not to, shit. With or without your support, I'm gonna do me. You feel me? That's all they need to know. Queenology makes cake. What's up, y'all? I'm bald again. No more afro. My afro is gone. So, look, you can't even see my parts no more. Look, at this. this is a piece of hair that's still stuck on there. That's probably not going to come out until I take this braid out. But you can't even see my parts no more. Look at this. Look at this, y'all. Can I believe I'm on camera looking like this? I don't do this. <laughs> I didn't feel like going to the studio and all that just to come back and show y'all this. My little studio that I made. Don't hate. But, so now I, um, I finally finished all of that. Oh, this hair. So now, I'm going to take these braids off. It's just too much. I hate doing my hair, but... I'm probably going to end up um, going to the salon and then probably letting them wash and blow dry it and everything and straighten it and then I'll probably just style it myself because I think I want to do, um, actually I might just get it washed and blow dry because I want to do some French braids. I want to do two layers. I want all the back to be, um, I want all my back to be individuals. You know how they did it. You know how we did it back in the day? All these kids trying to come take our style. We did it back in the day. You know what I'm saying? Having your hair individuals in the back with fresh braids on the top that's our style okay i'm from 89 baby that's what we did and it's probably to people watching this video right now tomorrow some girl 89 that's what we did in 70 woo to 60 woo to. yeah i probably did but i don't know because i wasn't here to witness that but i know back in my day me show was doing it but uh, i'm gonna take these braids out i'm about to uh look at my new growth love it and then i'm about to comb my hair and then see all my hair in my hand and then not care about no new growth because it ain't even new growth it's replacement growth <laughs> y'all i'm so skilled i really could just do this in one hand it's so easy but um I'm sitting up here watching Tyler Perry. Oh, I'm going to do a video. Y'all, you know what? I'm going to try to do a skit. I've never done a skit before on my own. I'm going to try to do a skit. Because I really want to try to see what I see when I watch these Tyler Perry um, little sitcoms. They are horrible. These sitcoms are horrible, y'all. Like, the only reason why I watch them because it ain't nothing else on TV. That's the only reason why. Because it ain't nothing else to watch. Other than that, that little cute curl. Other than that, I would not be watching this crap, but... And other only reason why another reason why I watch it is because he he'll have a one he got eight seasons I think this is in eight seasons now for better and worse his seasons be like five hundred episodes to tell you how person A and B met and then how they got divorced a hundred five hundred episodes to show you that. It's just, it's just too much. It's too much and it's not enough at the same time. So, it's weird. It's whack. They, they repeat their lines. They, do whoever writing for them, horrible. Whoever writing for them is horrible. I hate it. It's so horrible. So, I'm gonna do a skit and show y'all like. Who writes this shit? I need to do some research. I'm gonna research who writes Tyler Perry's shit and I'm gonna send them a letter telling them they need to quit or I'm gonna fire their ass. I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna do a little unboxing for y'all when I get my plaque for my 100K, when I get my plaque for my million, my first million, when I get my plaque for my second, third, you know, all them millions or whatever, all them plaques. But until then. <laughs> But y'all gonna be with me. We gonna we gonna go on this journey and we gonna we gonna tear it up.
And when I get to a thousand subscribers, I'm gonna pay two people's bills, one bill for two people. And when I get a hundred thousand subscribers, I'm gonna pay rent. I'm gonna help single mom, struggling student, people left behind because they loved ones were incarcerated. People whose loved ones is incarcerated, they ain't got no funds to help them. I'm helping kids, but I'm giving everybody cars, houses. I'm getting everybody Teslas when I hit a billion subscribers. When I hit a billion subscribers, I, I'll buy five people a Tesla. She did a whole ass video and I thought I was recording her challenge and I was not. Like you start here, I'll eat the other one from here because I'm already hot. And she just ate this hot ass wing and her ear was burning, your ears burning. Yeah, so I'm willing to do it again and put it in my chicken. Uh-oh. This one doesn't have as much. This is one of the hottest spices that Wingstop has on. Wingstop. So this is gonna be the wing stop challenge. You can see the peppers on it. My face. Is you can like... see the peppers. Yeah. Let's get a close up for that. Yeah, like some... but, um, my whole face is hot. Like sweating. I guess I can handle the heat, but my body can't. It's letting it out. <laughs> You sure that's not the regular buffalo? Oh, mm. On this half? How about you try it? With me. Mm, I think you should. The regular buffalo is right here. I could get buffalo. Huh? Buffalo hot. Yeah, it's not hot. That's hot. Ugh. It's not sweating in your body. Alright, let me open up my chopsticks. I'm about to eat my chicken with chopsticks, I guess. This is part of the challenge. Oh my gosh. No. Get his ass. Oh. Wow. So don't nobody got no cell phone. So you just tear these apart like that? Wait, you tear them apart and then you rub them? Like that way? Mm -hmm. Get that those strays off. Right, you see Can you rub it anywhere? Wood, like yeah, it's right on here. here. Oh, wow, that came. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Which one hot? Where's the hot one? Mm -hmm. With a little bit of the devil sauce mm -hmm. right there. This one? Got a little bit on there, but that. this one. Rub it in there. Okay, that's the devil sauce. This looks nasty. It looks like, like somebody threw up on it. Or I gotta pray for it. torture myself only take me one time on a lesson and that one consider it learned Don't ask the price if you know you ain't trying to cop shit. You the type to look around but never 